Milio, Coastal Championship Wrestling, 18 years strong. Dan Evans has been here really from since day one. Yeah. What is it like, what does it say that a indie company could last that long? It means the entire world. I mean, there's so many indie companies that will start, you know, that are there for a year, you know, sustained for two years. But the fact that uh, Dan, you know, he had a dream in, in 2004 uh, with his uh, the other founder, Bruno Sassi. They, they had a dream and it's about consistency and it's about just putting in the work and really it's it's a, a testament of how hard Dan works and has worked for the last 18 years because I mean anyone in it anyone in independent wrestling from anyone who's ever done music managers wrestlers they know how fleeting this all can be to maintain the crowds that uh, we have been able to maintain so it means the world what is it like just being a part yourself with coastal championship wrestling and the history now of CCW it was it's perfect because you know um, I obviously I had some exposure to uh, CCW probably 12, 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Uh, I was here and I was training and I was you know just very briefly learning a little bit about the about professional wrestling and to be able to um, be one of the drivers uh, uh, now to to expand and to grow now into uh, some television and other things has been amazing. So to me, it's been just fulfilling my dream and you know I never had to start from scratch. There was a, all the people from before all the people like like Dan and and the there's hundreds of other people that laid the groundwork already Blackheart Dave Johnson exactly. there's so many a I know lot. exactly yeah. you know uh, who have uh, uh, built the foundation that now we can continue to build on and I'm building upon that Gangrel Dave Heath yeah excellent trainer excellent wrestler too but, but he's part of this and what is it like having him here and working with the students because CCW is also about training absolutely. the next generation absolutely Gangrel has been, uh, I mean, it's a vampire, but he's heaven sent. He's a vampire. But he's sent. No, he's, That's a good line, he, he actually. Is, you know, we had that really, for him. Yeah, we got we put that on a poster or a, a T-shirt. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, no, you know the thing about the thing about uh, uh, David Heath is he's not just an excellent wrestling trainer. He's an excellent person, and he has obviously a wealth of, of experience and knowledge. You know, uh, over thirty years in the wrestling business, uh, uh, Japan, all over Europe, all over the United States, wrestled in Mexico. Now he's with MLW. He's it's not just about oh he has he's you know was in the WWE he should be in the Hall of Fame, but uh, uh, hopefully that when the brood comes in at least he'll have one but he really deserves two. Um, but truth truth be told, the thing about David Heath is he's also uh, a really good mentor philosophically on how you should live your life because he's done so much. So when you come to CCW and I'm speaking this from personal experience, you get uh, uh, to really use his years of experience and really knowledge in your life not just in professional wrestling so you know he's done it all and he can lead me he helped to lead me in the right direction and as the business end but more importantly when you come here you get that foundation of wrestling training but he's also a guy that uh man it's like he's lived at ten thousand lives so uh you have to use him as much as possible as a resource and with ccw what's always awesome and interesting to me about the shows is that you have the young talent on the show you yeah. some experienced talent like a santos yeah, yeah. and then you bring in people like tonight the good brothers made an appearance yes. they didn't wrestle but yeah. they were here for the 18th anniversary show yes. and it, ccw always had a tradition of having that type of talent on their shows yeah, when, when you come to train as a <clears throat> professional wrestler, when you come to an independent show, you need to have people like, uh, you know, Gangrel's a perfect example. He wrestles in different shows every weekend in other places. So what happens is, is if you need a baseline of what you want to be as a professional wrestler, you need to be able to, you know, meet the good brothers, uh, Gallows and Anderson, who's done, who've done it in Japan, who've done it in uh, Impact, who've, who've been on the WWE and the world stage, you know, main evented a, a cinematic match with The Undertaker, you know, helped the main event. So what will happen is, is you need that, like, soup, that stew, of, an, of different ingredients and CCW helps that. Now that's from a student uh, standpoint. But what I love about the wrestling fans is accessibility. When you go to a WWE show, it's very, very difficult unless you pay exorbitant VIP prices to sit and to speak with some of these larger superstars. So what happens is, is when we can bring them in, we allow accessibility, almost full accessibility. So you'll have a much better experience coming to our show to meet Gallows and Anderson than if you were going to pay thousands of dollars to do a meet and greet in uh, uh, Impact Wrestling or All Elite Wrestling or WWE and that type of stuff. So, you know, it, it allows for just, you know, the normal, you know, people who just are fans. I mean, we were uh, packed to the gills tonight and it's all normal, great people. And they have the ability to, you know, uh, uh, you know, be a have access to some of that larger talent. And look, like, uh, uh, you know, we run the gamut from like a Brian Cage to, uh, you know, older stars like Sabu. I know he's retired now, but we love to bring in all that, all that type of talent so that our fans can have the accessibility to it.
Bill Alfonso Fonzie. Oh, Fonzie. My Bruce mentor. Owens, yes. the referee. Yes, <laughs> Extraordinaire. Yes. Well, Bruce, Bruce has been amazing, especially like he understands how to build it. Like he's seen it. You know, he'll come to me and he'll say, well, this is what was happening in Florida Championship Wrestling. And this is what happened here. So you need people like that. Like Bruce is smart enough, has been doing this long enough. And then Fonzie, my goodness. Fonzie will always have an example. Like if, if, and if, if Fonzie is the type of guy, and Dave's like this too, but Fonzie's really the type of guy, if I make a mistake, Fonzie will tell me exactly the mistake. And he'll explain three other people you know, it'd be like, well, Crockett did it like this, and and this other person did it like that. So if we want to be the last territory, you need Fonzie, you need David Heath, you need uh, Bruce Owens, obviously Dan. You need those people to, uh, uh, you know, push the experience. You know, and I need that obviously as as a businessman. So those who want to become pro wrestlers or managers, yeah, managers, valets, referees, referees, producers. Uh, you want to learn how to do color commentary. You want to uh, uh, you want to learn how to edit. Now that we're uh, uh, that we have a uh, over-the-air television show and we're uh, uh, in, a, in a syndicated market in Los Angeles and, and Las Vegas. You want to see a professional wrestling show come and uh, I'm sorry, if you want to see how to make a professional wrestling show, come and we'll show you. Where can people go to find out about CCW? All the type of information that you need is ccwrestlingfl.com ccwrestlingfl.com but obviously uh, follow us on the social medias, Facebook CCW Events, Instagram CCW Training Facility, Twitter CCWFL. Uh, and then give us a call anytime. Uh, we'd love to. We'd love to train you. We'd love to. We'd love to be a part of your professional wrestling journey. South Florida, Pompano Beach. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Nilio. Thank you, Jimmy Rock.